Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to part four of a look at my CD collection. I'm already up on the ladder here, uh, getting ready to bring this to you. Uh, we are at uh, column on my shelves, column number four. We're going to run through that one today <clears throat> before we move on to other things on uh, the next couple episodes. Because we're gonna, I'll go quickly through the movies on a couple episodes and then uh, we'll move into the closet. Right. So let me turn this bad boy our way up the ladder here. And uh, we're starting with R, right? So you'll notice here as a kind of in continuation with the last shelf where we did have, uh, we had R and Q up on top. Uh, here we got all R stuff. So of course we got uh, Rainbow, We've got all the Rainbow albums. Okay, Rainbow Rising, all the Dio stuff, all the Joel and Turner stuff. All right, the latter album, we got Bent Out of Shape, Difficult to Cure. Down to earth, all that stuff. Got some live stuff. Uh, more rainbow up here. Oh, we got uh, Rossington Collins band. Okay. We got uh, rainbow live in Munich. All that good stuff. We got some Keith Richards solo. Uh, then we got all the Renaissance stuff. All right. We got uh, Ashes Are Burning, Scheherazade prologue. Got some box sets and things. We got all the Renaissance albums. On disc, uh, we got uh, a bunch of REO Speedwagon up till oh. point. I really like the older stuff. All right, so we got uh, things like Riding the Storm Out. All right, Lost in a Dream. Got the live album, got Nine Lives, got REO, the first out, first two albums, you can tune a piano. Oh, that's good stuff. I mean, this is, uh, let's get that live album down here if we can. Oops. All my raspberry CDs want to come flying out as well. Here's the live album. Classic cover on that. Great album. All the great power pop albums from the raspberries. And then uh, in the front, of course, we got the stuff that doesn't quite fit. I'm going to do my best to kind of move things around because I had to re-tape re this, re-record this because my Sticky Fingers CD went flying off the shelf down to the floor, knocked my Roger Waters stuff off a shelf six below. I mean, you know, it's crazy stuff. So here we got uh, Renaissance box set for live at Carnegie Hall. You got uh, an anthology along with some live stuff. Let's move this somewhere else so that it does not fall. Come on. These, yeah, these, these boxes just do not like you. You have to put them like at an angle, otherwise they go tumbling. All right, so there we got the box set, uh, the reissue of Sticky Fingers. We've got Goat's Head Soup. Uh, I'm gonna put that, put that on the ladder for now. Okay, so uh, yeah, all the Rolling Stone stuff. Every single one of them. Okay, you got... Uh, these are probably in there pretty tight, so let's see how easy I can pull some of these out. Yeah, there we go. Got, uh, Aftermath. I tend to... I know, you know, I've done many Rolling Stones shows on the channel. I tend not to talk too much about these, these early releases. I, I like the early stuff. Uh, it's just not my favorite era of the Stones. You know, for me, it's 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 all this stuff. It's the Mick Taylor. I like it all, um, but I love the Mick Taylor era of the band. So you got Exile. You got uh, the great Gitche Yaya's out. By the way, if you are a Stones fan and you have not gotten a hold of this, this is it's basically a boot. But uh, this is the Brussels Affair, 1973. Arguably better then get your yayas out absolutely spectacular stuff got all the latter period stuff as well so as you can see i got a shit ton of rolling stones uh, and then we move to rush all right so this is a uh, kind of like a uh, live fm radio broadcast boot thank you nick uh here we have now lots of the um reissues remasters remixes live stuff right so this is the hemispheres uh, set that came out a bunch of years ago. Here's all the Rush. Of course, they're all there in order. They continue down below. So I know you're somebody, like, oh, but there's more. Yeah, I know they're down below. Fear not, people. All right, let's continue with Rush. Okay, so here we've got, oh, we're popping in and out of focus. There we go. Rush 2112 box set and yeah i know i have i've gotten these little box sets and i still have the originals so of course i got multiple copies of some of these let's just move uh, this these around here so let's see what we got oh, here's some saga 
So I'm going to choose one false. So here's the, uh, the Rush 2112. Okay, let's stash that up here. We'll put all these Rush ones up here. So here's moving pictures. This is probably the best. I mean, it contains probably their best live album. It's a shame we had to wait so long to get it. We got the Farewell of Kings box. Please stay. Here we go. We got uh, Permanent Waves. So yes, uh, I now have you know multiple copies of all these and uh, of these albums, and uh, I've bought these many, many times. Let's put this down here. Uh, what else? All right, so we got Saxon out front, the complete album, seventy nine to eighty eight, must have. Got tons of Saxon, as you can see. There's a whole bunch of Saxon there. All right, let's go all the way across. Uh, in fact, let me go down one rung on the ladder so you can see these a little bit better. Okay, so we got uh, got a couple of Bob Seegers. I got the, mainly the two live albums and one of his more recent ones. I'm not an enormous Bob Seeger fan, but I do like the live stuff. Uh, what do we got? There's some Neil Sean solo. Got Rolling Stones, Blue and Lonesome, Saga, Heard Their Tales Live. Got uh, various... Neil Sean live albums. I got uh, Iggy and the Stooges, first couple albums, which I dig. More Neil Sean. I got Silverhead. Those of you not aware of Silverhead, this is the uh, Michael DeBar kind of glam rock band from the early 70s. All right, so there we continue on with Rush. All right, we got the last of the Rush. This is pretty cool if you guys haven't heard this again. This is another kind of like... Uh, radio broadcast type of thing from the Agora Ballroom, Cleveland, Ohio, 74. This is a killer live set, which uh, has some stuff on here. Bad Boy and Garden Road, which never appeared on any studio album. Both pretty heavy songs. So that's, that's a pretty cool little curiosity if you can find it out there. Oh, uh, let's see. And then we got the Saga. I bought way, way back that whole Saga box set that contains uh, all the uh, SPV releases. So there you see all of them. Pain in the ass to get out. All right, you know, I'll hold the square foot of these. All right, generation 13, full circle. A lot of cool saga album covers. Got, got the whole saga catalog. And then the great uh, the Chapters Live, where they play all those chapter songs one by one by one. Oh, it's not one come out for me. Uh, here we got all the sabotage stuff, right? All the classics. The Great Sirens, where it all began. Dungeons are calling. All right. My personal favorite. Oh, one of my favorite albums of all time, The Hall of the Mountain King. And like I said, we continue on with Sabotage. Loads of Sabotage. And then a whole bunch of Saxon. I have most of the Saxon catalog. I think I'm still missing a few, but I got most of them. And then we move down. All right, so while I'm doing that, let me see if I can put some of these back up here to get them out of my way. Ah, this is proving to be too ridiculous. Here's just too much stuff stacked around, so we'll we'll skip me putting stuff back to later. All right, so here we got uh, continuing on into S. So we got uh, Sanctuary featuring uh, Moral Dane. All right. Always try to kind of pull stuff out of here without knocking the stuff over the front. So obviously, a lot of these things that are sitting in front need to go somewhere else. So I'm in the process of uh, taking some stuff, some smaller things off the shelf. So in other words, bands that I only have a few CDs of and uh, taking them off and putting them uh, strategically in the closet so I can make more room for the stuff that I have lots of here. So you can see we've got uh, Tokyo Tapes, and uh, Shadow King, right? Lou Graham, Vivian Campbell. This is the latest Scorpions Rock Believer. Let's move this somewhere else. We got uh, Sir Lord Baltimore, a little box set here. All right. First two albums, and of course, the one released much later. And then uh, here's some more Saxon. We got Carpe Diem. We got David Lee Roth, Mario Speedwagon, a little kind of live boot from 1983. And then what do we got here? So we got uh, Scorpions. All right. I don't own the entire catalog. Got all the Spock's beard. For all of you proggers. Alright. Great 
so lots of Spock's beard. Got pretty much everything there. We did got all the spooky tooth stuff. I love spooky tooth. Spooky two. That's where it's at, people. Great album. If you never listen to Spooky Tooth, that's the one to start with. Uh, then I got all the Bruce Springsteen stuff. I got this box set which has all of the '70s albums on there. Don't have his latest, but I got pretty much everything else. And then up top, we got uh, more Bruce. We got Steel Mill. This is a great British band from the '70s. If you haven't heard this, Jewel of the Forest. Killer, heavy, proggy, uh, Sabatis, very cool U.S. kind of proto-metal band from the early 70s. Got uh, Sons of Apollo, Michael Schenker group, Michael Schenker Temple. All right, I'm going to uh, attempt to put some of these back so I can move down to the next rung. This is challenging. Should have rethought this, should have put all this stuff on the floor and said, hey, we'll look at this at the end. Moving this shit around, this ain't working. Um, let's see if I can put some of this back up here. Yeah, that sticky fingers does not want to do what I wanted to here. Uh, anyway, all right, moving on. We have entered Michael Shanker realm. All right, so we've got. Uh, all, geez, we got all sorts of stuff sticking out of here. We got Sticks Live in Chicago, kind of cool live boot. Uh, Return to Paradise by Sticks. Got uh, loads of Schenker just because, you know, Michael's just been coming out with so much stuff over the last couple of years, as you can see. All sorts of Michael Schenker releases. All right, here's Universal. We got Immortal over here. I'm just loaded with Schenker. There's the other Sons of Apollo. There is much more Michael Schenker up top. You got Assault Attack, the first two albums, Built to Destroy, Perfect Timing. All that stuff that's an entire upper portion of this shelf is all Michael Schenker. So I got low as you can tell I'm a big fan. All right, then we got uh moving down here, we got some prod, we got Star Castle. All right, the great Star Castle. If you like, yes probably dig star castle it's kind of like yes mixed with a little aor oh man go back in there there we go got uh stradivarius got pretty much all the stradivarius albums great power metal band got steppenwolf stuff i think i have every steppenwolf might be missing one or two great band stray dog if you've never listened to stray dog this is a very cool uh band from the 70s heavy rock heavy blues rock band get that uh get that first album Absolutely killer. Amazing guitar playing. Really good stuff. Can't recommend that highly enough. And we got all the Sticks stuff. I got every Sticks release. I'm a massive Sticks fan. Uh, Super Tramp. Got all the Super Tramp albums. All right. There we all are there. back up here got all these all these Schenker albums laying all over the place it's amazing how many he's come out with over the last couple of years and they uh all right cool all right continue on s uh we got seventh wonder great swedish prog metal band we got loads of sweet here star one all right we got spiritual beggars great swedish uh stoner doom hard rock band more seventh wonder more spiritual beggars. Uh, got some thin Lizzy because we're getting ready to move into t T. We got ten. All right, then we got uh, seventh wonder. More spiritual beggars up top. Seventh house. Tin house. Ten years after. All right, so all sorts of stuff. So here we got the old suite. All right. All right. Record. Little headed, loads of sweet stuff. All the Symphony X. All right. There's a tragedy all the way from the beginning, all the latter stuff. Uh, I have most of the 10 catalog. I don't think I have all of them because, of course, uh, they've been on Frontiers Records for a long time. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but like Frontiers, they only seem to produce like a. Uh, 
a small set of actual physical product and once that's sold out they don't repress anything so like if if i didn't buy if you don't buy these 10 you know like, well not just 10 but a lot of these frontiers albums right when they come out you wait like a year or two later they're all gone and the only way you can find them is really really expensive uh used copies right so they're they're I'm missing like a, a few of the 10 albums 10 years after got a cool collection here if i can get it out um, which contains uh the chrysalis era so all those early albums are on there uh got a bunch of live things all right then of course starts uh thin lizzie the great thin lizzie Back. All right. I think we can do away with the uh, ladder for now. All right. So what do we got here as we move into T? Uh, a little while. We got some S's that'll hold over. We got some Tadeshi trucks, all the Tadeshi truck stuff. We got threshold. We got spirit. I've got a bunch of uh, spirits. I don't have the whole catalog, but I've got a good amount of them. What many consider the best. 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. More Tedeschi trucks. <clears throat> Lots more Tedeschi trucks. And out front, we've got uh, Tomorrow's Dream. <clears throat> Very cool German prog metal band. Got some live trapeze. Uh, Testament original album series. More Tomorrow's Eve, More Tomorrow's Eve, really cool prog metal band. Uh, some Toto, because right, of course it doesn't all fit here. And then let's go back to Thin Lizzy. So here we have the Thin Lizzy catalog. The Great Bad Reputation. Uh, if you've never heard this live album, this is quite good. UK Tour, 75. 38 Special. <clears throat> Tyler's making all sorts of noise over here because she's got a bone. Uh, all 38 special stuff. Got uh, most of them. I'm missing a couple studio albums, but uh, Threshold, great UK prog metal band. Got all the earliest stuff featuring Damian Wilson on vocals. Got all the mid period stuff, late period stuff. Uh, Toad, <clears throat> man, if you've never heard this killer debut album from Toad, excellent, excellent heavy blues rock. Got Toe Fat. Um, Early stuff with Ken Hensley, um, TNT, and then all the Toto stuff, including one of my personal favorites, Kingdom of Desire. If you've never heard Kingdom of Desire, this totally rocks. If you want to hear Steve Lukather unleashed on the guitar, that is a great place to start. Uh, Toto, more Toto, Pete Townsend solo. Got most of the Pete Townsend solo stuff. Some of you are probably like, Pete, where's your Tool CDs? They're in the closet. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um... Lots of other tea stuff in the closet. So, like, where everybody's going to be shouting, but where's this band? Where's that band? Well, like I said, not everything is on these shelves, people. I can't fit everything here. All right. So, we got uh, Transatlantic, continuing on with tea. You got some there's all newer, newer things. Patch, new Pat Travers. We got uh, Trouble. Great Doom band. And then, what do we got up here? We got more Testament. All right. Mick Taylor, Solo, lots more Testament. Most of the Testament stuff is here. Taste, all right, the great band. Taste featuring other than Rory Gallagher. Generic Taste, Trouble Horse. By the way, if you, if you don't have any taste and want to get one album, just get this one. The full What's Going On Live at the Isle of Wight. Absolutely scorching. <clears throat> Absolutely scorching. All right, Traffic. Got all the Traffic stuff. Traffic at 11. Uh, John Barley Corn. Uh, Transatlantic. Right. Epic Prague featuring Mike Portnoy, Neil Morris, Warren Estaltz, Petra Ravis, Trapeze, <clears throat> one of my all time favorite hard rock, heavy rock albums, as the great Medusa. <clears throat> Glenn Hughes, Dave Holland, Mel Galley. Amazing. Pat Travers Band. Trouble. 
Triumph. More trouble. Great Robin Trower, <clears throat> of course. Can't go wrong with Robin Trower, one of my favorite guitar players of all time. All right, continuing on. We got uh, more Robin Trower, because I have most of his catalog. Tucky Buzzard, very cool British kind of heavy rock, heavy prog band. Cool collection containing all of their albums. Well worth checking out. Uh, much, much more Robin Trower. Derek Trucks band. Big fan of Derek Trucks. Uh, I'd argue that I kind of missed the Derek Trucks band. I like Tedeschi Trucks, but man, I like Derek Trucks band all so much more. I just, I love just hearing just Derek just whole album playing tons of guitar and I, I don't quite get enough of that with the with the Tedeschi Trucks band although I do like them all right the Tubes I mean you know big Tubes fan all their stuff UFO oh look I have space I have space you know I'm gonna be moving some stuff around there all right uh the UFO collection got everything Shanker years the Chapman years, the Schenker again years, the Vinnie Moore years, all here. UK, more UFO, got some TSO. I got TSO all over the place. I have TSO in my holiday case. I got TSO everywhere. All right. Now, on to you. Uh, we got some Todd Runman's Utopia. Tokyo. Five, you ride a heap. Live at the Electric Ballroom. Disco Jets. Live 73. Oh, this is a cool band, Voodoo Circle. Kind of power metal band. A little Steve Vai action there. All right, so we got the Vintage Caravan. Very cool, heavy rock band from Iceland. You got to listen to the Vintage Caravan. You're missing out. Steve Vai, Johnny Van Zant, Johnny Van Zant band. A lot of Johnny Van Zant stuff. More Voodoo Circle. Featuring uh, current members of Primal Fear. Very cool band. If you like uh, White Snake, the 87 album, that sort of thing. A little bit of Rainbow. Of course, this is my Uriah Heap shelf. By the way, these, uh, these remasters are tremendous. Um, all sorts of great bonus tracks and things. Got the King Biscuit live show, which is really good. It's a great compliment to the... 1973 live album, which is right there. I've uh, got all the later stuff, which, again, I will reiterate for the millionth time, do not sleep on the recent Uriah Heap catalog. Living the Dream, Outsider, Into the Void, Wake the Sleeper, and brand new one, which hits stores today, actually. The new Uriah Heap stuff is tremendous, people. Tremendous uh, Utopia, I love Utopia. Got all that stuff. Got uh, the Steve I catalog. Might be missing one or two, but I got most of them there. All right. Let's uh, move down a, a shelf. Put some of these back. All right. Roger Waters. We're moving into V and W. Oh, uh, we got more Van Zant sitting here. Okay. Up top, got more Vintage Caravan, Vandenberg, All the stuff, the classic stuff, the new stuff, uh, West Bruce and Lang, Leslie West Solo, more Voodoo Circles, caught a couple wide, widespread panics, Wasted. Uh, let's see, Vanilla Fudge, and then of course, Van de Graaff Generator, and uh, Tell you what, man, these, these reissues here, these remasters, really good. Thank you, Anthony. Amazing. Cool bonus tracks. Nice booklets. Really good stuff. Love Van de Graaff. Got, got the whole collection there. Got all the Van Halen stuff. Right. More Johnny Van Zant. Why is Johnny Van Zant there? All by his lonesome. Why did I just see that? 
There we go. We got a lone Johnny Van Zant sitting here. He should be with the rest of his friends. No, I'll worry about that later. Uh, Steve Ray Vaughan, Double Trouble. Got all that. Got uh, the Joe Walsh stuff. All the Joe Walsh solo. More West Bruce and Lang. But seriously, folks. All right. Moving down. W. White Snake. That's right. Yeah, I own pretty much everything but White Snake, as you can imagine. Got uh, Wet Willie up above. Winery Dogs. And I see only one Winery Dogs there, which means the other one is around somewhere. It might be in the closet. Because sometimes when you only have like one or two discs by a band, uh, sometimes uh, you throw one up here and then I forget that I've got uh, one over here and I put it in the closet because it's a one-off, you know, or two-off. Johnny Winter, got some Stephen Wilson. Right, Raven, more Wet Willie, more Stephen Wilson. Uh, the Ooh, Lava Hole. All right, Lava High Park, got uh, continuing on with the White Snake. All sorts of Who stuff. And Paul McCartney Wings. I guess I file it under W. And these, these Rickmasters are pretty cool too. It's Red Rose Speedway. All right, continuing on down below. We got, uh, we're in Wishbone Ash, Johnny Winter territory. So there you see a lot of the Johnny Winter stuff. Great album. All sorts of classic wishbone ash. By the way, if you're a wishbone ash fan, of course this one's not going to cooperate. Uh, very cool thing called First Light, which has a lot of the early recordings before they released the first album. That's definitely worth getting if you're a fan from the original lineup. And then, of course, uh, so we got lots of Johnny Winter up top. More Wishbone Ash, some yes. For everybody asking about Zebra, a lot of people ask about Zebra. There's the best of Zebra in black and white. I uh, got the Edgar, Edgar Winter Group. And then, of course, uh, All My Yes. Got to show a little bit of Roger Dean here today, right? <laughs> and then uh, that's it, because now down below we've got uh, Marvel movies. So this is my, my Marvel shelf. So all that stuff. Yeah, I need, I need more movie space. So this normally was where all my Frank Zappa stuff used to be. So, in fact, this entire shelf down here was down below was like Zappa, uh, ZZ Top, Zero Hour. Basically, that was it. So I've actually moved them into a box in my closet. I have a whole box because I got so much Zappa stuff. So, uh, yeah. So that's it for this episode, guys. So uh, stay tuned uh, next week for another one, all right? So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content. And uh, please do hit the like button before you leave. Thanks for watching. I am Pete Pardold. Stay tuned for more of my CD collection. Uh, actually, mo movies will be next. So see you next week. Bye-bye.